What's going on everybody? Patrick from Obscure Reference here and uh, we have another trailer reaction from Marvel. Ooh. This time it's Thunderbolts. The teaser trailer dropped today. Thunderbolts asterisk. My apologies. I have not watched any of it. I have not seen anything from it. Well that's not true. I've seen some things from it. Uh, it's not anything I didn't already know. So we're just going to jump right into it without further ado. My excitement levels are eh. Uh, we're at a level, we're at a point in the MCU where well, we'll talk about it more afterwards. Where it's like I don't know if any of these projects are gonna hit now uh, without the changes fully taking effect. So we're just gonna jump right into it and talk about it. Retreat leave on board. Cecilia, yeah, this is David Harper's bad Russian accent. Accent. Oh, he's kind of bald. Is he Bald and uh, Scarlet Widow. Scarlet Widow. Oh my Elena. God. Black Widow. Hi, Dad. Sorry about the wait. Uh, it was not an important call. Highly classified. Lots of work. Lots of work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I believe it. Mission fulfilled. So yeah, we haven't yeah, seen him so since full. the blip happened. So few. But why do you ask? What what uh, what brings you here? Is she recruiting? Gonna help, uh, what's her face? Oh, yeah, Valentina. Wrong for me. In emptiness, I'm just. There's Sebastian. There's Bucky. And I don't have oh, he's got his kid. I thought throwing myself into work was the answer. I'm excited to see U.S. agent in action. Here. Is this? Oh shit! Okay. What's this song? I know this song. Oh, there's Ghost. No, that's Ghost. Sorry, that's probably Taskmaster. Oh damn, that's kind of cool. Oh no. Who are you? I'm I'm Bob. Who sent you, Bob? Nobody. Were you all you were all set? No, no, we'll wait for it. Everyone here has done bad things. Shadow ops. Robbing government so. labs. Oh, yeah. Contract kills. Yeah, so. So someone wants us gone. This is an interesting angle to take on it. I do like Ghost's new outfit. There she is. There's Bucky. What's going on here? There are good guys and there are bad guys. Oh, okay. Wait, what's the plan? Believe Hold on, we're going back. Sorry. That there are good guys and there are bad guys. Yeah, okay. That's gotta be the century, right? The plan? Did he dishwash his arm? Get mercy. Oh, Actually, he's going right. you come Wait. to realize okay. what happened? that there are bad guys and there are worse guys and nothing else. I don't know about that line. Look at you. So adorable. Are we getting a sub to oh, we're sticking with that, aren't we? Okay. She's bulletproof. Is that the same kind of disc you used in the Winter Soldier? Okay, we're gonna get a shot of the team lineup before we get too far from this. Hold on. Okay, so yeah, that's clearly the Sentry. I don't think we're getting. Yeah, I don't know who else that would be. Okay, so we're gonna get a look at this lineup here. Because uh, I think that, for me, is the most interesting thing. Uh, I think we've left this spot open for someone else to walk in. Because um, let's be honest, Red Guardian. He's cool, but like, he's not selling tickets for this, I don't think. Uh, so we're probably gonna put Sentry here, maybe? He's kind of a good bad guy, you know? More of a good guy, but also he's got a bad guy because he's got the void, but that's comic lore. We don't need to get into that. Um, so I'm still not convinced this is gonna be 
a great movie this has had a lot of issues um and then the change with disney leadership has made this even more questionable um, the way things are going with the mcu and they're, the way they're trimming down on projects that are coming out i don't think that came in time for this to be affected really by it i think there's going to be a lot more quality assurance now that this has been delayed as much as it has um so i am hopeful um i'm a little i don't know i've been scratching my head about this one for a while now i think having ghost and taskmaster come back is an interesting choice again this isn't my favorite version of taskmaster this might be uh, honestly my least favorite version of taskmaster but i think it's cool that they're bringing her back and they're doing something with her um ghost was kind of eh, throughout most of ant-man and the wasp i didn't care for her too much uh, i think she's got cool powers which we saw her use here um and i think that's super interesting Can, this is oh no I didn't. okay cool uh it's just, just a muted muted shot to begin with okay that's cool too <laughs> okay. okay i was about to say something unhinged but you won't uh, so yeah real quick then yeah regarding whatever yelena i like florence pew i like yelena a lot i think we just need more of her um pe not period because i don't want to say that she's if anything's better with her in it but florence pew will sell the heck the the heck out of it and i think yelena's a fun character um sebastian stan I, it just feels weird because it feels like we've had his redemption arc and he's kind of a, a more or less good guy especially after um captain america and the winter soldier um but i so seeing him here with all these actual people that were villains at one point is like what are we doing here um maybe he's kind of like one of the babysitters along with yelena i don't know especially when you throw john walker into the mix um i'm very curious to see what he does i want to see him i'm happy that we're seeing him on the big screen because i think wyatt russell in general is is a good actor and seeing him as John Walker as U.S. agent is something I'm super interested in. So I'm, I'll be there mostly for the Century for Yelena, and probably John Walker. I don't care too much about the rest of the cast other than Valentina, because you know, Julia Louis Dreyfus. Come on, um, but I am curious to see how this will ultimately tie into things, um, the grander scheme of the multiverse saga. I really don't have anything any speculation for that um i'm kind of just blabbering it, and that's because i'm not sure what this movie is going to give us i'm not sure if it'll be any good so this is probably uh, after this we have fantastic four and blade which let's see here just gonna make sure i have my facts right because i don't want to get this wrong um let's see here phase five is where we technically are um yeah it's thunderbolts what it doesn't say what comes after oh my goodness um that's really annoying so hold on hold on huge because um we have others coming what fantastic four or no wait is this all that's in phase five is this the end of phase five Oh my gosh, wait, yeah, that is right. Oh, we got, this was originally announced as the end of Phase 5. That's right, I forgot about that. Yeah, Fantastic Four was supposed to come out before this, but now that's coming out in the next summer. Blade was already supposed to be out before this too, I think. Uh, so, uh, a lot of a lot of things and in, uh, in questions up here. I know we have a lot of like stuff that's being teased out for future of the mcu but i still think we're missing a lot of stuff for phase six um let me just double check and see what we got yeah so fantastic Four would be the beginning of phase six and blade will come after that which no way that's hitting um well hmm, we do have more than a year God, that's i say that like that's a reasonable thing to do in a year is to make a full-ass movie about blade i don't I, just, I don't see it i don't see it then you have the avengers movies in 26 and 27 I don't see that hitting the Blade movie specifically. I think that throws things off. The MCU in general is just, I don't know. I'm trying to be an avid defender of it because I do care about it. And I like uh, these characters and what they've set up for themselves. But Phase 5 and 6 are a mess right now. And they got to get their act together. Uh, 
I'm enjoying Agatha. Well, we'll talk about that later, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm just blabbering. I think my hopes uh, for this movie um, ultimately outweigh my concerns, so I, I will be there day one as soon as possible to see this movie. I am ultimately curious about where this goes and what this means for the larger MCU. But um, I'm not the most excited for it. I think this of the c- slate of Marvel Cinematic Universe projects, I think this is the one I'm the least excited for. I think... When does Captain America come out? When does that one come out? Because that one's happening, too, still. Does that come out before this? Yeah, this is that's a Valentine's Day movie. Uh, so we might have a really packed year next year. Because I think they have something slated for July, whether or not that's Fantastic Four, or if that gets pushed to November. I feel like movies are going to change. I'm not sure the slate is a hard set. This is what it's going to be. So this might not even hit in May. We don't know. But I digress. This looks interesting. I just feel... I see I talk more about the MCU in general than I did this movie, and that's just where I am with it. (laughs) It feels like the Suicide Squad, but different because, well, we know all these characters already, for the most part. Uh, You know, I still think we could learn no more about Ghost or Taskmaster and stuff, but, like, still, all the same. Uh, This isn't, like... Suicide Squad, where we don't know any of those characters, we're just gonna have to quick learn everything about them in a crash course that's horribly written, but that's a whole different discussion. But yeah, on the whole, yeah, I'll see it. I'm not super excited for it. That trailer didn't do much to convince me otherwise. So, yeah, that's gonna be where I leave you. Uh, if you like more trailer reactions, if you like more of this stuff, do all the good, subscribe, comment stuff. Um, but I will see you in the next one. <laughs>